Alright. Alright, so we've been doing binomials times binomials, right? We're gonna start one of those. What's the first step? Remember, we're foiling, right? What's the first step? We multiply the 2x by what? 3x. 3x, right? First. So what is 2x times 3x? 6x. 6x squared, good. Then what's the next one? 2x times what? 2. two. Good. So that's the outer, correct? So now what's 2 times 2? Two? 4x. 4x, right? 2x times 2 is 4x, good. Then what's the next step? What's the next number we multiply with? 6. 6, good. So we'll go 6 with the 3x. And that will give us what? 6 times 3x is? 18x. 18x. So plus 18x. Good. And the last part, 6 times what? 2. 2. And that's going to give us a positive what? 12. 12. Good. And are we done? Uh-uh. What's wrong? We have to combine the like terms. Combine, combine, like combine the like terms, right? We're going to combine the like terms. What are the like terms we have to combine here? All right, the 4x and the 18x, right? Because this is x squared, so it's different, correct? So we'll bring down the 6x squared. What is 4 plus 18? 22. 22x, right? And then we'll bring down the 12. Questions? That's what we did yesterday, right? Good. Now, switch colors. Uh, another way you might see something like this written, we'll say, uh, we'll keep it simple. We'll go x plus three, but they might give you a squared. So, when something's squared, that means there's how many? Two, right? So that means there's two of them. So what do you think I could do? If we have x plus three squared, I could write it two times, right? Yeah. So we'll write it out, x plus three, and then x plus three, and we'll do the exact same thing. This one, because we did this one the traditional way, Let's do this from the box method way, right? So we make our box, and we say x plus three, and we say x plus three. Right now, we want to split the terms. So we'll split these in the middle, and we'll split these right down the middle. Right now, make our four boxes. So now, we work in each box, correct? So we'll go x times x, and that will give us what? x squared. X squared. Good. So we're done with that box. Good. Now we'll go x times 3, and that will give us what? 3x. 3x. Good. And then we'll move down. 3 times x? 3x. Yeah. 3x again. And then lastly, our last box, we'll do 3 times 3, and that will give us 9. nine. Now, like we said, the box uh, categorizes everything a little bit better, so now we just got to add down the rows, right? So there's no other x squared, so we'll keep it. x squared. Now what? We gotta combine what now? The next terms, right? The 3x and the 3x. So 3x plus 3x will give us 6x. Good. And then lastly, we have what left? 9. Good. All right. So are we, we're good with the binomials, right? Now we're gonna move on to a binomial times a trinomial, right? We talked about monomials being one term. Talk about binomials being two terms. So trinomials, what do you think tri is? Three, three right? Just like a triangle. Three sides, three angles. Tri means three terms. So, did I erase this one? Yeah. The one that we did first, right? Okay. Well, let's see. We'll keep it simple for now. We'll go x plus two, and then we'll say two x squared. Say minus 3x plus 4. All right, so we'll do one the traditional way, and then we'll do one the box method way, okay? So here, it, it's not foiling, but you still use the same type of setup, right? So we'll take the first term, and we will multiply it by the first term of the other set. So what is x times 2x squared, right? We talked about this the other day. When you combine x and x, you do what? You add the exponents, right? So there's no constant out in front, or there's the invisible one. So we just do one times the two, so that would give us two. And then we have to combine the x's when you multiply them. So one, this is to the first, right? So you'd have one and two, and that would give you what? X to the third. Good. Now, where do you think I move next? What? Where do you think I go? 
When we did that, we went across and across, right? So where do you think I go? I go from the x times the what? Three. The negative 3x. Good. So now we'll go here to the next term. So x times negative 3x will give us what? Negative 3x squared. Negative 3x squared, right? We have that 1 in front, so it's really 1 times negative 3, which will keep it negative 3. And then x times x will give us the x squared. Good. Now, am I done with the x? What did I multiply it by? The 4. Good. So we'll multiply the x by the 4 now. So x times 4 is what? 4x. And then just like before, you go to your inner term, right? So we'll go 2 times 2x squared. So we'll go 2 times 2x squared, and that will give us what? 4x squared, right? 2 times 2 is 4, and then they, uh, the other one doesn't have an x, so we just bring down the x squared. All right, then we go 2 times the negative 3x, so that will give us what? Negative 6x, good. And lastly, 2 times 4 will give us what? will give us 8. Good. Now, this is where beforehand, right, we, our x's would be right next to each other. What do we notice now, right? They're, they're spaced out. Our x squares are spaced out. Our x's are spaced out. This is why sometimes you like the box method better. Just it organizes it and they'll be right in the rows, right? So you won't miss anything. But even if you do it this way, that's still fine, right? You look, we got x to the third, okay? Do we have any other x to the third? No, no. No, 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 right? So we can bring this down. So 2x to the third. Good. We'll move to the next term, right? We can even put a little... Move to the next term. We have negative 3x squared. Do we have any other x squares? Where is it? 4x squared. Plus 4x squared, right? This is only x to the first. This is 6x to the first. So we don't have anything else. So what is negative 3 plus 4? It would just be 1. Good. So we have 1 or just what? x squared. Good. So we use this term and we use this term. Now we'll go to the next one. So we have a positive 4x. Where else do we have anything that's an x? Do we have any other x's? Negative 6. Negative 6. Good. So what would 4 and negative 6 combine to? What? Negative 2. Negative 2 what? X. x. Right. Don't forget the x. So minus 2x. We use these. And what's left? 8. The positive 8. We see how it's very similar, right? But instead of just doing x times the first two, you gotta add that third term in, okay? So let's do one that's the box method. So, we're still going to draw a box, all right? So we're going to draw a box. And we're going to take the first one. Depending on how you draw it, I do this one this side a little bit short, so I would put it on this side. So we have 2x, and we have 3. And then on top, you're just going to write the same thing. You're going to x squared, space it out a little bit, 6x, and your negative 7. Does everyone see what I did there? We go with that. Yeah. So now we're going to do the same thing we did before, right? We're going to split the terms on the side. We're going to split them with a line. Then instead of two lines, right, instead of that one line splitting, now we're going to have two. So we're going to have a split here to split these two terms, and we're going to have a split here to split that term. Thank you. All right, so same thing. We're going to just go box by box. So this first box right here takes up what two numbers? 2x and x squared, right? So what, what do we end up getting for that box? Question. Um, why did you put the second parentheses on top? I did that just because I noticed I drew it a little lopsided. It does not matter which one goes where. 2x to the third. Yeah, 2x to the third, good. So 2x to the third. Does everyone go with that? It does not matter. I just, my box was a little lopsided, so I, I saw this was a little bit longer, so I put my longer set. All right, it doesn't traditionally matter. I just thought this was a little bit shorter. That way it wasn't all bunched up. So we have a little bit of room. All right, so 2x to the third. <clears throat> now the second box will be 2x and 6x. What's that going to give us? 
12x. What? x times x gives us x squared, right? So it's going to be 12x squared. Good. And then the last box is 2x and negative 7. That's going to give us what? Negative 14x. Good. All right, now we move down here. We have 3 times x squared, and that's going to give us what? 3x squared. 3x squared. Good. 3x squared. Good. Now we're going to go 3 times 6x, and that's going to give us what? 18x. And then 3 times the negative 7 is going to give us negative 21. Good. Questions on any of the boxes I filled in? No. Good? All right, now, we notice, like, you know how I told you over here, they're a little spaced out, right? We had to actually look. Look, they go right down in the diagonal, right? X squared, X squared, X, X, constant, X to the third, right? See how they go down in the diagonal. We have nothing here, so we can bring down the 2X to the third. Now, we have to combine these, right? So we have 12 and 3, and that gives us what? 15X squared, good. And then we come down this one, negative 14 plus 18. Four. Four. What? Just four? Four X. Four X. Good, right? That's our X's, so four X. And then lastly, we bring down our negative 21. Questions on the binomial times the trinomial? We all good there? Yes. It's literally the same thing. But obviously, instead of doing first outer and then going to inner, you're just going to have to do one more, one more term over, okay? It, like I said, well, once you know how to FOIL, do binomials by binomials, this stuff just comes very easily once you see it and understand it, okay? So now we're just going to do real quick, yes? Are you ever going to ask us to do a specific way, or can we just do the You can do whatever one. That's why I'm showing both. You can do traditional. Like I said, traditional. Some people are totally fine with it. They're real good at combining. Some people need a little bit of help and organize it. This is more of an organization tool. You make sure you hit all your boxes, right? Because sometimes maybe you'll even forget to do a term in the traditional. Here, you'll have an empty box. You'll be like, how do I have an empty box? There should be something in that box, right? So either method, does not matter. Use one of them. The answer is what we're looking for, right? So whatever one helps you get the correct answer is what we're looking for, all right? So. Let's do, let's do one more. We gotta do a trinomial times a trinomial, right? So we will say, let's see, um, say x squared plus 3x minus 2 multiplied with 3x squared uh, plus 6x. We'll say minus three there. All right. So, what method would you like to use? We're going to do one, then we'll try one on our own. What one do you want to use? You want to do the box? Let's do the box. What? No, it's not. So, we'll use the box. So, all right, we got a couple more terms. So we'll make sure we make the box big enough. And maybe not that uh, slanted like that. All right. All right, so like Jason asked before, it does not matter. I can put this on the top, I can put it on the side. You're still going to be multiplying the same things, okay? So we'll put this, where do you want to put it? The side or the top? The top. Okay, I'll put it on the top. So we have x squared. We have 3x. And we have negative 2. Good. And then on the side, we have 3x squared, 6x, and negative 3. So again, just like we did before, you got to make splits in between. So we have a split here between these two terms and a split between these two terms. We go with the split there. Yes. And then we'll split the top two, the st uh, top three terms, right? So we'll split down and then we'll split these ones down. Now, we have nine boxes, right? Three by three. We want to make sure that all nine boxes are filled in. So the first box, we have 3x squared times x squared. What do we get? 3x to the fourth, right? 3 times the invisible 1 gives a 3. And then we add, when you're multiplying exponents, you add them, right? So we have the x 
2 plus 2 is 4. Good. Uh, the next box, we have 3x squared times 3x. We get what? 9x. Two and what's this one two? Nope. What is this two? This is to the what? What term? A, a normal x is to the what power? To the first power, right? So you're right with the nine. We want to get our x, but it's to the what? X to the third. Good. All right. And the last box, we have three x squared and negative two. Negative 6x, and that has no x, so it's going to be to the second. Good. All right, are we okay with the first box, the first row? Now we'll go to the second. 6x times x squared gives us what? 6x to the third. Good. All right, can we one power, so 1 plus 2 is 3. 6x times 3x is what? 18x squared. Good. All right? When you add one and one, you get squared. And then six x times negative two? Negative 12. negative 12 x, good. And lastly, our last row, negative three times x squared? Negative three x squared, good. And then we'll have negative three times three x? Negative nine x. And lastly, negative three times negative two? Six, right? A positive six. A negative another makes a po uh, positive, so we get a six. And do we still see, right? Everything lines up diagonally, right? Three, three, two, 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 x, x, and constant, right? So we have no other x to the fourth, so we'll bring it down. Three x to the fourth. Then we'll go with our third. What? Uh, nine plus six. Fifteen, right? So plus fifteen x to the third. So that row is done, right? We need to put a little, now we're with the twos. Negative six plus 18. 12, and then minus three. Nine, so nine x squared, so positive, right? So plus nine x squared, good. Now we're done with that. Now we go to our x's. So negative 12 and a negative nine combined to what? Positive. Nope. Negative 21. Oh, it's not a positive, right? That's multiplication. When you're adding, you say it just to keep subtracting, right? So it's negative 21. X, good. And lastly, we just bring down our positive 6. So, like I said, with the box, when you're doing a binomial by not binomial, there's only four boxes. It's kind of not bad because everything's kind of clumped together anyway. Here, we would have had we would add terms all over the place, right? That's why sometimes the box method is bigger when you get to bigger polynomials, okay? So, whatever you want to use, that's totally fine. Can you keep that one? Yeah, I'm going to keep it up. All right, try this one on your own. And we'll come around and make sure we're all good, all right? Try this one on your own, then we'll put it up on the board, all right?
All right, so the one we were trying, right? Cheyenne chose to use the box method, so this works, right? So look, she did four, negative two, and one. That's this one, she put it down the side, and on top she did the first one, three x squared, five x, and four, so good. First box, she multiplied them, got 12 x to the four. Went to the second box, four times five is 20. X to the second, x to the first, we did x to the third, and then she did four times four, which gave her 16 x squared, good. Negative two times the three gives you negative six x to the third. Negative two times the five gives you negative 10 x squared. And negative two x times four gives you negative eight x, good. And the last one, one times three x squared gives you three x squared. One times five x gives you five x. And one times four gives you four. Added down the columns, she got 12 x to the fourth. 20 minus six gave her 14 x to the third. 16 minus 10 gave her 6x to the second, and then plus the 3 gave it back to 9x squared. And then the negative 8 plus the 5 gave her negative 3x. And then finally, our last one, our plus 4. We all good on this? Yeah. All right, take out your Chromebooks. Chromebooks. We're going to do an uh, interactive game. Go on to Book It, and we'll get started. It's a new game we're trying. We haven't done it in here. I've done it in a couple other classes. Okay, Mr. Ray, do you just have to go and look it? Yes. I'm going to put it up in a second. Mr. Ray, I have a question here. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Thanks for watching, Mr. Ray. I'm just so glad. Thanks for watching. Can you take biology? Can you take biology? Oh, we have like three minutes What? Have five minutes. All right, get logged on to that. We'll uh, do the game and then we'll do some more stuff tomorrow, all right?